This is Paul. Yes. <laughs> uh, I was able to get two dollars. <laughs> I got some tobacco, but now I'm gonna try to get another dollar. <laughs> I've been having a real difficulty with the military. Yes. They don't seem to understand the credit worthiness <laughs> of the United States of America. <laughs> now let's say you went into the military and they treat you real good, do they? <laughs> that $650 billion a year we're spending, pooch. <laughs> And as a citizen, I can't get anybody to defend the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> now, you would have thought after the amount of emails that I've sent and videos that I've made that someone <coughs> would have required the actual laws being enforced. But <laughs> you think that just spending an extra $100 billion a month is not going to affect the military as if they were first to uh, get to the coffers? <laughs> yes, <laughs> These smart meter systems, I just wondered, uh, you remember that cell phone that was giving me problems? Yes. <laughs> well, I had to uh, do an uninstall and a reinstall of the software, and it seems to be working the way that it should. Yes. <laughs> but I went through that manual, the SAR manual. Yeah! I remember about seven, eight years ago, somebody decided to static the substations. Yes. And maybe you decided to put some, uh, well, some of that SAR. Yes through the actual electric grid as in well we'll just uh, we'll target different locations where we know a large amount of electricity is being <laughs> rerouted yes and then we'll just attach to it various types of uh, Wi-Fi yes broadband ah! now I mentioned these car manufacturers that put cell phones in the dash of vehicles yes you did <laughs> And I just wanted to know what they were doing today because it seemed to me that this concept of, well, we don't have to enforce the laws. We have, uh, oh, oh, Lichtenstein, did you actually have an offshore account? Pouch. You know, yesterday, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I got to thinking about certain families that thought they had the right to uh, sterilize the population. <laughs> As if your technology gave you the right to remove the testicles of citizens because you thought there were too many of us. <laughs> But when you think about the amount of debt of the United States and <clears throat> these other nations that keep buying it, <clears throat> I start thinking of ways to make sure that we default on the actual treasury bonds and bills that we're issuing. <clears throat> What if we went from double A plus to maybe a D or an F or a default <laughs> as a nation? Would that affect our credit rating right now? No, I know. Okay. <laughs> you decided that you were going to control the sexuality of the United States of America, which, that you're in control, isn't that right? <laughs> and you're going to decide exactly how much money we spend as a nation. <laughs> I decided that I'd rather have my own genitals on me, yes, <laughs> and then I could use my dick whenever I wanted to make as many children as I want as long as it's consensual volunteerism, yes! <laughs> Now, why don't we go through the actual ownership of the United States of America's debt? <coughs> because your billions don't equate to the trillions that the rest of the world holds. <laughs> now, I'm going to want to know, <coughs> this smart meter system? Yes, he does. <laughs> Do you know the GPS location of every meter and every uh, in-home outlet? Yes. <laughs> and could you put a cell phone in a smart meter and I wouldn't know about it? <coughs> Now, I know, you're a billionaire, and you just fight yourself, but as one of those that thinks, <laughs>